Merry Christmas. <laughs> to Sky's Change Delivery Team. Thank you so much for purchasing our Shake Easy cocktail gifts. It is great to be able to help you to celebrate your festive season with some drink filled fun. Now before we get started, I've been asked to read a fantastic poem from one of your team members at Sky. And so it has come to the end of the year, a time that brings joy, merriment and cheer. The execs just want to say a massive thank you and for that they've offered you a glass or two. Your hard work this year has been exceptional, despite the new working style you've all had to install. So let's raise a glass to all we have done, get mixing some cocktails and have some fun. Let's get mixing some cocktails and have some fun so that we can raise a glass to all that you have done. I'm now gonna hand over to the owners of Albert and Charlie's to give you a small introduction on who we are. Hi guys, thank you so much for purchasing one of our Shake Easy cocktail kits. Now before we make a start and everybody gets a little bit merry, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about who Albert and Charlie are. They are actually Albert and Charlie. They are two little boys and in fact they are our little boys. They are two in December, so pray for us. We probably need to drink this cocktail kit more than any of you guys right now. So Albert and Charlie originated last year in 2019 and we felt there was something missing in the market for mobile bar services. So we cater for any type of event. For smaller events, we offer this pop-up bar and one that's just a slightly bigger version of this. And for those big statement pieces, we offer some amazing horse box renovated bar. This was bought by us. It was a little bit of a dump when we first bought this and we have done this out and it is the most beautiful thing and it makes the most amazing statement at any type of wedding. And our newest bar, which we were very excited about and have been working on all through lockdown, is a piano bar. It is exactly that. It was a piano that was about to be chucked out and we have renovated the entire thing ready for any spectacular event. So Stacey's going to now take you through how to make these amazing cocktails in that kit. Thank you. First up, we're going to be making the drink called the Grinch, who once famously said, Now you listen to me, young lady. Even if we're horribly mangled, there'll be no sad faces on Christmas. So, to take away any sad faces, we're going to start with this lovely festive number. So to make this one, I need you guys to grab a cocktail shaker or anything that you have around the house that has a nice secure lid, some ice and a martini glass. And then from outside of your box, I need you to grab your lime, your vodka, your melon liqueur. So the first thing you guys need to do with your lime is to cut it in half and then half again. Now we've used a chopping board and a very unsharp knife as you can see it took us a few goes here but just be safe with this one guys. Then I just want you to pop it into your cocktail shaker or whatever you have with a secure lid and squash them limes right in there so we can get all of the juices nicely into the bottom of that cocktail shaker. Once you've done that, I just want you to grab your ice. Now get quite a lot in there and we will put about half into the cocktail shaker. And then what we'll do is we'll get a little bit more ice and we will put it in our martini glass. That'll cool that nicely ready for your lovely drink coming up. Swish it around a bit, that means that we can cool down most of that glass. Right, first up, we're gonna start with your vodka. And just a quick reminder that we have already pre-measured all of these, so what we need to do is just pour in everything that we've given you for your vodka. But for future reference, this is a single shot of vodka. So we're gonna pour that in there, 
and then we're going to grab our melon liqueur. This will give it the lovely green colouring of the Grinch. So for this, we're going to give one shot of the melon liqueur. And we're just going to pop that all in there as well. And like I said, everything is pre-measured for you guys already so that we have saved you the hassle of measuring these out. So once it's all in there, give it a nice shake. Shake what your mama gave you guys. And it will be ready. I can't wait to see this beautiful green coloring of the Grinch. Shake, 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 shake. Keep going guys, it's a good workout. Okay, we're ready. Grab that martini glass that's lovely and cool down now. You're gonna tip out that ice because it's done that job for you. And we're gonna open the lid. And here it is guys, here it is, your green Grinch. How beautiful does that look? Enjoy. Now to give you time to enjoy this beautiful Grinch cocktail, we recommend that you pause this video now and we will see you soon for your next cocktail. So next up, we are making the Jack Frost. This is the personification of being icy cold. So we've created something that's gonna make you feel all warm and merry inside. So to make this one, I need you guys to grab your cocktail shaker or whatever you used before with a nice acu lid, a tumbler glass and some ice. Now from inside of your box, I need you to grab your lime, your coconut crumb, your Bacardi, cream of coconut, blue curacao, and your nice little bottle of pineapple juice. Okay, so to start with this one, I need you to grab your lime and cut it in half. And what we're gonna do with one half of this is just run it around the rim of the glass. This allows then your coconut crumb that we've already measured out for you in a nice little sachet, and you can run that also around the rim of the glass and it sticks nicely. This, when it's finished, will give you a beautiful icy look on your glass. So we're just gonna put that glass to one side now and I need you to grab your cocktail shaker or again, whatever you're using with a nice secure lid and grab some ice. We're gonna pop that into the cocktail shaker and probably we're gonna fill that about half the way up there. First of all, we're gonna put in our Bacardi. For reference, again, we've already pre-measured all of these, so everything in your box, you just need to pour the whole measure in. But for future reference, this is a double shot of Bacardi. Next up, we're gonna be using the cream of coconut. Now this is a syrupy consistency. So you'll see that this takes a little bit while to, to run out into your shot glass. So just give it a little bit of time and let that pour in there. But this is well worth the wait. It will give it a beautiful consistency and a beautiful coconut flavor. So just pop that into the glass there and make sure that it all runs out. And next up, we're gonna be grabbing our blue curacao. This adds a lovely tropical flavor to the coconut drink and of course gives it that lovely icy blue vibrant color that we are looking for. Pop that into your cocktail shaker. And finally, you just grab your pineapple juice. This is in the bottle that we're showing on the screen now. And what I need you to do is just pop in about the level of the neck of the glass. Now grab the lid for your cocktail shaker, make sure the lid's on properly, and again, shake, shake, shake. We're gonna have another workout here, guys. Keep going, it's well worth the workout, I promise you. This is gonna be absolutely beautiful once it's done. Okay, so grab that glass that's beautifully decorated, 
and we're going to put in some ice. Probably a little bit more careful than we've done there. And we're going to open that lid and you're in for a treat. Look at this beautiful blue colour. Enjoy guys, that is your Jack Frost. And so you have time now to enjoy your Jack Frost. We recommend that you pause us and then come back to us when you're ready to make your next cocktail. doesn't happen we've got the white Christmas martini. Okay for this cocktail I need you to grab a cocktail shaker or again if you don't have something like this just grab something that has a nice secure lid, a martini glass and some ice. Out of your festive box please grab your vanilla vodka, your white chocolate liqueur and your chocolate shavings. Okay, so to make your white Christmas martini, pop some ice into your martini glass and then we're going to put some ice into your cocktail shaker. And again, we're going to fill it about a quarter of the way up and then we're going to start adding the booze. So first up is the vanilla vodka. Again, we have pre-measured all of these to save you the hassle, so just pop in all of your jar that we've given you but for future reference, it's a double shot of vanilla vodka. Then I need you to grab your white chocolate liqueur. Again, just pop the whole jar in there that we have provided for you. But for future reference, this is a double shot as well. So this one, you may get slightly tipsy. That's the aim, isn't it, anyway? So once they're all in the cocktail shaker, give that a nice good shake. Shake, 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 shake. We recommend shaking these cocktails for about 15 seconds minimum. That gives it a nice good shake. And make sure that we get the right flavour for you guys. Okay, grab that martini glass. And the ice has done its job. It's cooled down that glass ready for your drink. So just tip out that ice. And we're ready to pour in that white chocolate martini. Look at that beautiful colour. Perfect for a winter's evening and to get you into the festive spirit. Now grab your chocolate shavings, sprinkle that on top and that'll give you a beautiful sweet flavour. Enjoy! So at this point we recommend that you pause this video so that you can enjoy your delicious cocktail and come back to us when you're ready to make the next one. Next up, it's Jingle All The Way. So to make this cocktail, I need you guys to grab a martini glass, some ice and a cocktail shaker. And again, if you don't have a cocktail shaker, just grab something with a nice secure lid. And out of your cocktail box, I need you to grab your gin, your jam sachet and your lemon. Okay, so for this one, if you want to grab your martini glass and we're just going to pop a little bit of ice in there to cool down the glass and just set that to one side. Put the rest of your ice into your cocktail shaker and then grab your Hendrix gin. And again, we've already pre-measured everything to go into your cocktail box, so you just pop everything that's in there. But just for future reference, this is a double shot of gin. Now grab your jam sachet and just empty all of that into the cocktail shaker. Then if you just grab your lemon and just cut it in half 
and squeeze one half of that lemon into that cocktail shaker. Once all that's done, just pop your lid on nice and securely onto your cocktail shaker and give it a nice good shake. Shake, shake, shake. And again, we recommend that you shake these cocktails for a minimum of 15 seconds, just to make sure that all the ingredients mix all nicely together for you. So when that's done, just grab your martini glass and take off the lid of your cocktail shaker and pour in that beautiful cocktail jingle all the way. Beautiful. Enjoy guys. So at this point we recommend that you pause this video so that you can enjoy your delicious cocktail and come back to us when you're ready to make the next one. That only means one thing, we're moving on to the next cocktail, the Die Hard. So for this one, I need you to grab a whiskey tumbler glass, some ice and a spoon. And out of your cocktail box, I need you to grab your Jack Daniels, your Hague Club whiskey, marshmallow syrup and a marshmallow. Okay, so to start with, I need you to pretty much fill your whiskey tumbler glass to the top with your ice. Now we're going to start with your Jack Daniels. Again, we have already pre-measured this to save you the hassle, so just pop in your entire measure we've provided. But for future reference, this is a double shot of your Jack Daniels. Now I want you to grab your Hague Club whiskey. Again, it's pre-measured, but for instance, this is a half a shot of your whiskey. So this one is for the whiskey lovers, if you haven't already guessed that. Now grab your marshmallow syrup. This is half a shot. If you need to know the exact details, if you fancy making this again at a later date. And this is going to add a different colouring to your traditional old fashioned. Now we are adding the bitters in the video that you're watching now, but to save you the hassle, we've already pre-added these bitters into your Jack Daniels shot, so you don't need to worry about this. Now grab your spoon, and we're gonna give it a nice stir. That will stir in all of those lovely ingredients, your bourbon whiskey, your scotch whiskey, and your marshmallow syrup. Now we're gonna add extra ice just to top it up to the top and that's going to be a lovely cushion for your decorative pieces that we're going to add to this. So if you so desire we would recommend that you add a little bit of lemon peel at this point. We've just curled it just so that it sits nicely on top of your ice and then you add the marshmallow that we've added to your box. Now we recommend that you set this on fire. How fun. So at this point, we recommend that you pause this video so that you can enjoy your delicious cocktail and come back to us when you're ready to make the next one. I gave you the last Christmas cocktail. Okay, so to make this one, I need you to grab a martini glass, some ice and a cocktail shaker. And again, if you don't have one of these, just grab something with a nice secure lid. Out of your cocktail box, I need you to grab your gold tequila, orange liqueur, your passion fruit and your passion fruit puree. Okay, so to start this one, I need you to fill your cocktail shaker about half the way up with ice. Now put a little bit of ice into your martini glass and then grab your gold tequila. 
Now again, we have measured these all for you, so you just pop in whatever is in your box. But for future reference, this is a double shot of gold tequila. Now we're going to add our triple sec, which is your orange liqueur. And again, for reference, this is a single shot. Grab your passion fruit puree. And as you can see, this takes a little while to come out because it's a lovely syrupy consistency. And again, what I want you to do, we've already pre-measured this, so just pop into your cocktail shaker exactly what we have provided. This may take a little while to come out, but just be a little bit patient for this one. And once all of your ingredients are in there, pop the lid onto your cocktail shaker and give it a nice big shake. We recommend that you shake this for about 15 seconds just to allow all of your ingredients to mix together. And once that's done, you can pour that into your martini glass. Look at that beautiful colour of your last Christmas cocktail. And then just add for lovely garnish there, the other half of your passion fruit. So at this point, we recommend that you pause this video so that you can enjoy your delicious cocktail and come back to us when you're ready to make the next one. So thank you so much again for taking part in our cocktail making session. Now remember, a cocktail kit isn't just for Christmas. We also do New Year packages. So if you want to take a look, follow us on social media. Our Instagram and Facebook is at Albert and Charlie's. And also, if you have a special event coming up, you can check out our lovely bar structures on there. So, as a goodbye, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the team here at Albert and Charlie's.